Hello everyone, my name is Philip Edu. I'm a methodology expert and today I'm just going to help in defining what qualitative analysis is. So qualitative analysis as you can see from this diagram is an art which encourages creativity, right? Um, you analyze data after you have collected information from your participant, right? In terms of qualitative study, you maybe interview participants and you have participant responses concerning the questions that you ask them. And you are in between participant and your audience, right? So this means that you have to um, summarize the information participant has given you, right, or participant have given you, and then present the summary to your audience. And in this case, it's an art because you are creating meaning, right? And this involves creativity, right? You have to be creative. You have to think outside the box. You have to think about possible meanings of the information participant has already presented to you. And it also involves subject subjectivity because you as a researcher, you are an instrument, right? You are making meaning. This means that your past experience and biases might influence the meaning that you make. It's very important here because um, when you have data, right, and you give it to about three people to interpret the data or make meaning of the data, the findings or the meanings that they make might be different, right? Why? Because of their past experience and background and maybe educational background or the knowledge concerning the phenomenon they are studying, right? So it is subjective. You are going to get multiple meanings or multiple realities of the information participant has presented to them. Participant have presented to them. So it's an art, and it's, it's involves uh, creativ creativity, right? Thinking outside the box, be creative, try to come up with meaning that represent the information participant has pre uh, have presented to you at the same time addressing the research question that you have, right? And it's a sub subjective experience because you as a researcher, you are making the meaning in your past experience, your knowledge about a topic has have an effect on the meaning that you, came, you come up with, right? And because it's a subjective experience, people might doubt the findings that you come up with, right? So how do you ensure credibility, right? You ensure credibility by demonstrating how you arrived at your findings, right? You have to show your audience not only the findings or the summary of the information that you receive from participants, but how you arrived at your summary so that they will believe the information that you are communicating to them, right? So that's the transparency is so important when it comes to qualitative analysis, right? You have to be transparent. You have to show, okay, so I collected my data, I transcribed the data, and based on my research question, I, go through, I went through all the information that participant has given me, and I was able to identify significant information, and I labeled those significant information. And based on that, I came up with the themes to address my research question. Showing them the process increased the credibility of your findings, right? So this is the, you know, basic information about, you know, how to analyze your data, um, basic information about, you know, definition or what uh, qualitative analysis means, right? So there should be creativity, creati creativity, right? Hope I pronounce it well sometimes, difficult to pronounce these words. Okay, so you have to be creative, 
yes, there's a subjectivity because you are an instrument, you are making meaning, right? Um, and then you have to show how you arrived at your findings so that people will believe, your audience will believe that information, right? So in summary, qualitative analysis is, a, is an art which encourages creativity, subjectivity, and transfer, uh, transparency in the coding and meaning making process. You are making meaning, right, of the data that you have to attain credible, um, to attain credibility of the findings, right? So that's all about qualitative analysis. And um, thank you for your time. And um, feel free to um, like the video if you like it. And also you can subscribe to this, uh, my YouTube channel, so that you receive basic information about research and um, refresh your mind concerning how to collect data, analyze, and present your results. Thank you for listening.